Hey friends, and welcome to day eight of our advent calendar series. My name is Emma Lefebvre, and today we're gonna be painting a watercolor ornament. So let's jump in and get started. Don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a single video this month. Okay friends, so today we are painting a watercolor ornament. I am using my small piece of Arches Cold Press watercolor paper. I have my Winsor Newton Professional watercolors. I have a medium sized round brush and a small round brush. I have a size two and a size four, a pencil and eraser, water, paper towel, and we're ready to go. Okay, so we're gonna be painting an ornament. So now you can choose whatever shape you'd like. Um, I wanted to do kind of like not completely round, but one of those like bulb shapes. So I'm gonna start by, you know what? I can even just trace a circle, pick something circular. <laughs> I find that's the easiest thing to do. Okay, really lightly. And then you're gonna kind of have it come down to like a little point here. You know one of those shapes that I'm talking about? I'm not crazy, right? It's almost like a little teardrop shape. And then you can kind of just mark out the top of where that would be. And a little loop if you like. Now with this painting today, you could do multiple ones on a page or you could just, you know, cut it out like I'm doing and making a gift tag. Totally up to you. Um, but the thing I'm going to show you with this design is how to make it look a little bit more realistic just by shading. So that's kind of the theme of all of these tutorials I feel this month. Um, but just how to make it pop just a little bit more. So I'm just outlining this just a little bit like that. Okay. So I actually want the background of the ornament to be white and then I wanna do some florals on it. But like you guys know, if we paint any kind of white object, it's not actually gonna be fully white, right? You want some sort of undertone so it stands out from the background of the paper. So what I'm gonna do is grab my Payne's Gray. You could use like a light blue or a light wash of black or Payne's Gray, totally up to you, whatever you wanna use. Um, and you're gonna go all over the bulb, except for the top, we might do gold. So I think I'm gonna do Payne's Gray, which is just like a really like grayish kind of indigo, and I'm gonna do a really light wash over the whole thing. And I might even just leave a little bit of white space right there, so that's like a, um, a highlight. Okay, and then while it's still wet, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit more of the color so it's slightly darker. And anything that's round is gonna have shadows on the side. You're gonna have that really light um, highlighted area. And then towards the sides where it starts to curve and it's further away from the light, you're gonna have a bit more shadow. So you're gonna grab a little bit more of your color. Okay and you're gonna add it around the sides. Now, if you guys remember doing the candy cane, I said I kinda wish I had a little bit more shadow on there. I think I went even too light. It's better to go lighter than darker to start because you can always make it darker, but it's harder to make something lighter with watercolor. So it's always better to go lighter and then let it dry, then wet it all over again. Okay, so I'm gonna wash off my brush, dry it on my paper towel just a little bit and I'm just gonna kind of clean up that edge. I feel like I want it a little bit darker. I might even add a little bit more just like black to it so it's a bit more of a gray shadow. It's a little bit too blue for me. And I'm just gonna tap it around the sides mostly. Okay. Because that part that's closest to us is gonna be the light. Now you can always add shadows after too. So don't feel like you have to get this all done right away. Now see how it's it's all kind of bleedy and looking a little odd. I want to soften out those edges just a little bit. So again, I'm washing off my brush, tapping it on my paper towel, 
And I'm just going to soften up those edges a bit. Like so. Okay. Now we're going to let the whole thing completely dry before we move on. Okay, so here we have our ornament. Uh, now I'm going to do some loose florals on it. So I'm going to pick maybe some red and some greens, and I'm just going to use my same size brush, my size six. Maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do like kind of like little poinsettias, just these kind of pointed petals like that really loosely. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'll do one over here. Like that, and then maybe up here. Just some pointed petals going around. Then I'm going to wash off my brush a little bit. I'm just going to take a lighter wash and I'll do a couple lighter petals behind. Again, they don't have to be perfect. They're pretty loose and rough. Okay, just a little bit lighter so those petals on top are a bit more intense of a red. You can even grab some darker red. I think I'm going to grab my smaller brush. So I'm going to grab some darker red. And I'm just going to kind of tap it in to the center leaving a little bit of white space in there, in the center. Okay. Like so. And then I'm going to grab some green. Let's do some sap green. And I'm just going to do these little leaves coming off in between some of those petals. Now again, you can do any kind of design you like. It does not have to be a poinsettia. It does not have to look like this at all. Totally up to you. Like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit more like dark green and I'm going to add it to the shadowy sides in the, the leaves. So it looks like where the ornament is curved, it's a little bit darker on that side. And then maybe even the poinsettia too. And just kind of darken up the one side like so. You could do, I'm going to grab some dark green and I'm going to do just a couple of like little tiny things of pine needles. Like that, just to kind of fill it in. that. Just something really delicate and cute. And I want to do some yellow centers, but I want to make sure that those are dry. So while that's drying, I think I'm going to grab some gold for the top of our uh, ornament. Like that. a little bit extra gold to the sides and then this loop here you can even the darken the gold by adding brown to it maybe especially on the sides and around like that 
And then actually instead of yellow in the centers, I might add gold just to kind of tie it in. I'll just do a little dots like this. Like that. And then if you wanted to just add a little bit of extra detail to some of the petals, you know, you could do some little lines. Totally up to you if you want. I did not let my gold dry, but that's okay. <laughs> just a couple little lines like that. And there you go. And then what I would probably do with this is cut it out around and then put a string through that actual hole and then make it a gift tag like so. And there we go, there is our watercolor ornament. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you liked it. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a single video this month. Hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.